think on the one hand, we, we sort of stumble over things. Life simply presents us with ideas. On the other hand, there are various things that simply need to be out in the open, which need to be told at a certain time. And as far as I'm concerned, there were lots of different little things that I stumbled over, irritants, things that struck me, moved me, didn't let me be. The first thing was a photograph, happened quite early, about 2002, 2003. It's a picture showing a German soldier, full combat gear, in Afghanistan. For me, that was a completely new image. And I found it irritating to see a German soldier in this sort of situation, which is clearly not just sort of building houses or bridges, but somebody in a war situation. At least that's how it came across to me. And it made me think, why is it that in Germany in, in recent times we have seen no film, no feature film about soldiers fighting, killing, dying? in combat. It's quite obvious that there are lots of, of traumas involved and that the whole thing is a long development. Also to say, well, yeah, Germany is doing this now, we have to get a handle on it and reflect it, be allowed to reflect it, be allowed to tell stories about it. I noticed how little I know, and given this ignorance, it's very important to tell society in Europe that we citizens, for example, in Germany, have legitimized the German parliament, the parliament legitimized the mandate, and that means Soldiers, men and women, are deployed there and they come back I and mean, something has happened to them. They come back different people to the ones that uh, left. And when they are deployed, they represent the German armed forces, the German government and their decisions. I can only recommend you look at Operation Homecoming. I was interested in that. You know, what does it do to people? I see a lot of need for action. There's a lot happening, especially in politics now. Also, the media are very active here. The, the way oh, we're trying to get a handle on the subject, we're getting more open-minded. And this is a good thing. It was an experience which was very good for me, because when I'm back in Europe talking to people in Germany and Europe elsewhere, I always notice other people I'm talking to don't have the knowledge I have. And I always have to put the brake on myself and saying, oh, well. But the film can help bridge that gap. <laughs> Something which uh, we kept asking ourselves in the camp, which we asked the soldiers as well. Do you have contact with uh, the people here? Do you see this country? Do you, do you talk to people? Is there an exchange? We were always surprised that, uh, well, obviously it goes without saying in many ways, and it has to do with the job that people do. If you are in this system, armed forces, you are in the camp, you stay in camp, and you avoid contact. And the only genuine relationship with the country you can have is, at least that's how, how we saw it, with the translators you're working with. And through those people, you can have an insight into the country. That gives you the, the ties, the information, the information that you need, you lie on. And we are also very interested to know that the translators, of course, have a certain element of power. The power is in how they translate something. So it's a mutual dependence here. We thought that was a very interesting combination. Well, the first day when I met Fio, Judith, and the rest of the team, um, um, they believed in us. I mean, coming into Afghanistan and taking on a group of young people who has very, very limited uh, knowledge of filmmaking or cinema. They believed in us. So um, when they came in <coughs> and they accepted us to be in the team, we were some 20 young people, men and women, not just men. Uh, we were a combination of uh, men and women, all young, all eager to learn something. So when you're talking about um, helping or having a positive impact um, on us, um, I would say uh, what I learned in a film school, this experience was 100 times better and uh, bigger and better than what I had learned, uh, and the same implies to my team. Uh, the rest of the team, everybody in the capital Kabul is like looking at us with a great deal of respect, especially people in media and, and film. They say that you guys have worked with a professional team and, and we see that you've gained a lot of experience. So um, when you're... Um, talking about helping, I think it has been a great help for us. This sort of um, lack of resolution or indeterminate situation, that was an ambivalence we wanted to have on, on purpose. Because if you say everything is great and bright and beautiful and uh, this one act saved everything, that would be wrong. Because not everything is bright and beautiful and it's a great deal more complex than that. But if you, on the other hand, say everything is horrible and everybody dies and it's all completely hopeless and futile and whatever you do, it doesn't help, that would be wrong too because there is so much hope in this country. And on the basis of what is being done from all sides, so much hope comes out of that. So I think 
ein It makes sense Fenster von Hoffnung in the sein. stories that we tell Aber to open zeigen, up a window passiert, of hope wenn, oder was while at the same time showing Gegensatz, what is the alternative, what's, what's the reverse side of that medal. The ambivalence is clear and important. And I think und, um, we all wanted to show that ambivalence. Ihre Anmerkung, ihre mittlere Anmerkung and your other comments, uh, uh, why we didn't give an answer, I think I answered that already, because I don't think films are not intended to provide dogmatic answers. Best case, films raise questions. That's my opinion anyway. Good.